What is up y'all? Welcome back. Today is going to be a really easy going video because that's the kind of mood that I'm in today and you can just kind of chill and vibe with it. It's going to be an empties video. I have lots of empties sitting here for y'all. Empties videos are pretty straightforward. It's like, do I like it? Am I going to repurchase it or is it a dud? I have a lot on my mind today, but I need this escape. I know some of y'all need this escape and we're gonna talk about my empties. Okay, let's go. Let's jump in. I'm not sure how I feel about my makeup today. I am really trying to embrace Victoria Beckham Caramel as a one and done shadow, even though, <laughs> did I l let it just be one and done? Absolutely not. There's other things on my eyes here, but it's kind of like a good, cool toned bedroomized brown. And I'm also wearing a pretty much full face everywhere else of just this brand that I had literally never heard of. And that's not a dig, that's not a read. It was just like, they just sent me a bunch of stuff through Shop My Shelf. They're called Doll 10. I don't know the price point, I don't know anything, but so far, like this foundation and concealer situation, and I don't think that the shade range is very good because like the, the shades were like light and light medium that they sent me, I'm like, all right. It's like, that's not an auspicious start, but the texture is really nice. And that's just on a first impression. I don't know anything about this brand. Again, not a read, I just don't. So that's what you'll see kind of linked below. And let's go ahead and pull some empties. I am all over the place today. I guess the biggest packages in here are usually the hair products, so that's what I'll start with. So this is the Orbe Super Fine Hairspray. The reason that I started using this instead of like Kenra 25, which was my mainstay all the way through being a hairstylist and pretty much the only hairspray that I would ever use, plus when I was licensed and living in a state where I was licensed, which I'm not anymore, I can get everything at cost and here, I don't know, I know that there is a way, Tom has told me that there's a way, but I have yet to do that. I've yet to kind of like use my license to buy things at cost here. So either way, paying full price for things like this. This is the Orbe Super Fine Hairspray. Ingrid got me hooked on this when I was staying with her one time and it is just fantastic. It's a wonderful compliment to the like Crown Affair finishing gel that I used to scrape my hair back in this bun because I lost a lot of hair earlier this year and it's all grown back in, not, I mean, it's not like long. It's grown back in about yay long. I'll stick a picture in of when it is just absolutely at its most fiery because when I don't use any kind of finishing gel and I don't use any kind of hairspray on it, I just pull it back. The humidity will get to it and I just end up with this like spider web mohawk. It is just absolutely absurd. Anybody who has lost hair for any reason, you know, uh, pregnancy and things like that, you know the struggle. I'm very grateful that the hair is growing back in, so it's like a fun thing to be struggling about, but at the same time, this is indispensable in my routine right now, and yes, I have already repurchased it. Another one that I already have two backups of, you know, one that I'm working on and then another backup of it is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I feel like so many of these products were influenced by my friends. So this was one that was influenced by Amanda Z. She has the most gorgeous head of hair. You know, I have a lot of friends with really gorgeous heads of hair, okay? Just like around them hoping that it's going to rub off on me. It hasn't yet, but Amanda Z, if you don't follow her, has an absolutely gorgeous head of hair and she loves this stuff so much. There are two of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoos. This just happens to be the more expensive one and the one that claims to actually clean hair. You know, does it leave a white cast? Yeah, of course it does. But that's also if you spray it hella close to your head and then you don't do anything about it. I shake the crap out of it and then I actually hold it pretty far because the spray is really strong. You know, it's like a really nice diffusion of spray when it comes out of the nozzle. And then it says to wait 30 seconds and then massage it and stuff to like, you know, to remove the rest of it. And sometimes I'll like hit it with a blow dryer or whatever, but it's the best dry shampoo I've ever used. And I really like the smell. So yeah, I already have two backups of this. Before I forget, this is just sitting here. I did finally finish this. This is the Dr. Jart Sika Parrot Facial Calming Mist. Somebody said that they saw that like this was maybe harder to find or being discontinued or something. I think that they might, this is just, purely my observation on the internet. No one has informed me of this. This is not like Intel. It just looks like they're changing the packaging maybe to like a shorter, stumpier bottle. I don't know why. Maybe that somebody told me that it was like hard to get all of it out of here maybe, like the, the nozzle was failing and stuff. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's feedback that they've gotten. Either way, this is a moisturizing, soothing mist containing Centella Asiatica complex that calms irritated skin with a hydrating finish. I bought this when I was with Ingrid in the city. We went to 
this amazing little skincare shop, Asian skincare shop in Chinatown. And I just thought that the whole thing here was very appealing. I liked the package, I liked the idea, I liked the claims. And I also just liked that I had never seen it before. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and so I think someone in the store, maybe even Ingrid was like, that's a really great product, you should try it, whatever. It wasn't wildly expensive and so I did. And I love it, especially as I have had Oh, breakouts and a lot of irritation from a retinol purge. And then now I'm just moving past, I would say like the worst bit of perioral dermatitis. Like we're starting to turn the corner with the antibiotics and all the treatment and everything. But every little bit helps that doesn't hurt, you know? And this is one of the things that helps when something is irritated and itchy, instead of reaching up there and scratching it to be able to like spray Centella on there and it leaves like this beautiful finish on the skin. Fantastic. Dr. Jart, I feel like doesn't get enough appreciation for being a brand that makes really great calming products for sensitive skin. It's just a really, really good brand for that. Like I've always loved the Ceramidin, the entire Ceramidin line, but like when I started getting a lot of redness and irritation on my face for various reasons, and they happened to send me some of their Tiger Grass line, amazing stuff, just like absolutely incredible stuff. So the Tiger Grass cream that turns beige obviously is like not necessarily sensitive to like, you know, an entire range of skin tones. I acknowledge that but the efficacy of the ingredients that they choose to put into their products it translates really well to you know super sensitized skin so I definitely recommend most of it so yeah I will definitely be repurchasing this it lasted me so long I think that I went on that trip June this has lasted me quite a bit and I, I would highly recommend it other things that I, I did discover these at that store but that's why we were going to that store was because Ingrid was picking up her SPF and this is the one. So I have made my way through two of these since then. This is the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Has eight types of hyaluronic acid in it and no white cast. It's beautiful. Hydrating without being slippy. Very, very effective as an actual tenacious sunscreen that like lasts a while while you're outside and stuff. It's kept me from repigmenting, but as much as I like, you know, touted all of these benefits in my last top shelf video, I was like, this is my forever sunscreen. I'm never gonna try anything else. Of course, then I get perioral dermatitis. And I just I don't necessarily, it's not that I think that this is not helping or even hurting my perioral dermatitis. I just don't know what it's doing. And so I switched to something that I felt like was more gentle which was switching back to the bloom effects spf which is pure mineral spf 50. and it was just so luxurious i love it so much do i have it sitting around here no it's in my bathroom i love that stuff it's incredible so if you are on the sensitized end i would highly recommend that stuff and if you're looking for a really good hydrating but not like wildly dewy slippy to death chemical spf this is incredible stuff. Just so good and not expensive. And I already have a backup of it. It's, it's a wait and see situation on my skin. You know, I also have my retinol that was compounded by my dermatologist in Texas that like, I swear by it, it completely ages me in reverse, but like, have I been able to use it for the last like two and a half weeks, three weeks? No, because I've been on antibiotics for perioral dermatitis and like, you don't want to use any actives for that. And let me tell you, <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> I miss it a lot. <laughs> So it's still sitting in my skincare refrigerator in my room, just biding her time, waiting until she can help me out some more. But yeah, my whole skincare routine has changed since the perioral dermatitis kicked in, so that's why. Ooh, which gives me an, a nice little segue to talk about this line because I am shocked by how effective this is for perioral dermatitis. Once again, just... <sighs> I'm just kind of mad about it because, first of all, because I had such a chip on my shoulder about it, but also because it has absolutely no right to be so good. If it was this easy to make good skincare, why isn't everyone doing it? Like, who did she find that knows this much about how to make great skincare? The Rode skincare line is so good. And the only reason that the glazing milk isn't in here is because there's so much in the bottle. And so I haven't finished it yet, but I already have an entire set of all three laying in wait. This is one that they sent to me. So I got this gifted to me because I would never have bought it on my own. Right. And that's, again, it's just because I have like a chip on my shoulder about like this popularity of Hailey Bieber, because all she did on TikTok so for so long was just like take trends and name them. And all she had to do was wear her lip gloss a certain way and she could just name it or like name like a, you know, a phenomenon of her like nail color 
color or whatever and I just got so annoyed by it because I was like really like you're gonna call that this and then we're all gonna just worship you for having the idea to wear lip liner you know and I was just very cynical about it but by god y'all that should speak volumes to me giving praise to her skincare line because like when I say I didn't want to like this <laughs> and I not only love how it behaves on my skin. And some people have like qualms about one product versus the other in her line. I just use all three and the lip balm. In fact, I'm wearing, <laughs> bought it with my own money. I'm wearing the peptide lip tint. I have a cat hair on my face. Stop that. In toast right now, I bought all four. I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. I mean, look at it. Good grief. Either way, I have here the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid, which is so cosmetically elegant. They all are. They just leave this beautiful, like, wet, dewy gorgeousness on your face. And then the Barrier Restore Cream. These lasted quite a while, and they're not wildly expensive. You know, the whole set, I think, is under $100. Like, if you got all three, they have been so gentle and, like, noticeably helpful for my periodontal dermatitis. That's what's wild to me, is I figured since they're kind of so wet you know it was gonna probably not help but like I was so tired of my skin looking so dry because what you're supposed to do is let perioral dermatitis dry out it's not supposed to kind of get wet wetness allows for bacteria growth and stuff it might just be a coincidence of the timing of just like again rounding the corner on being about halfway through my dosing regimen of actual you know oral antibiotics sure it might be that but this is not hurting I just like woke up a couple mornings ago and I was like, ooh, that's noticeably better from using the glazing milk and from using these two. So I don't, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not an expert, but you know what? Doctors and dermatologists and experts can't explain perioral dermatitis either. So we're all kind of just doing our best. And I did, I like read about, I was like, is road skin care good for perioral dermatitis or like absolutely not? And they're like, oh, it's good for all sensitized skin, even with eczema, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, no, it was really good. <laughs> like really good for it so at least on me like who knows but it did a really really good job and like you can see how much less texture I have it's really nice so yeah I already have a whole set and all the lip balms <laughs> all right let's knock out my shampoo and conditioner and all my drunk elephant stuff right right at once so I have the Coco Mino Marula cream conditioner I have the Coco Mino glossing shampoo we'll talk about the glycolic in a second so I'll say what I always say and that is most things break my neck out and when they break my neck out it's not just like oh a little pimple here a little pimple there it's like these really horrible like cystic painful things that I'll reach back there and scratch and then I will think I'm going to like bleed out of my eyes it hurts so much so um, I've just come back to this and I've never looked back Basically, I spend lots of money on these because I wash my hair every single day. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I wash my hair every day. I just keep buying them because they are the only thing. The only thing that I have tried. I have tried all sizes, shapes, price ranges, what have you, of different shampoos and conditioners. And this is the only one that doesn't break my neck out. And that's why I continue using it. That's like how I know it's time to make a Sephora order is when I run out of those, you know? And I, I try not to actually run out. I try to like, you know, load up on them, especially during the Sephora sales and stuff, because I know I'm never gonna like change my routine. So the answer is I have a lot of those, yes, repurchased, obviously. And then this, I also have like two sitting in my cabinet, basically waiting to be opened. So this is the TLC Glycol body lotion I think yeah I went ahead and saved a box here of the soft services buffing bars the micro crystal exfoliants are these blue bars and they are what I use to scrub all of my KP off of my shoulders and my back and then I use this when I get out of the shower and it is what I like to call a light up your life moment because you know you've opened the skin ever so slightly and then you take something as active as I think this is a 10% AHA blend yes uh, glycolic and some other stuff you put that on top and let me tell you when you have had a lot of KP and you're really annoyed with it. This feels like revenge <laughs> in a really good way. I have been also using the Tulip, the Royal Tulip scrub or whatever it is, the enzyme scrub from Bloom Effects on my shoulders and my neck and stuff while I'm in the shower just because, you know, I'm just to mix it up, you know what I mean? And someone messaged me and they were like, what's the difference between this and those buffing bars from Soft Services? I said, it's less violent. She's like, okay, I'm gonna purchase that. <laughs> Because not everybody is here for like, you know, NASA levels of like sanding off the top three layers of your skin. You can hurt yourself with these. Keep them wet, be smart, be responsible. I was not responsible the first time that I used this and I basically gave myself road rash. So that should tell you all you need to know. Use them at your own risk, but by God, this combination will wipe 
out your KP. Oh, here's another conditioner. I was probably just on the very end of it before we did the last empties because you know, I use the shampoo faster than I use the conditioner, but either way. Oh, never mind. Talks <laughs> a big game. There's another shampoo in here too. <laughs> Finally finished this. This is the Necessaire, the body exfoliator. Fragrance free, le gommage corps. Okay, I have the strangest qualm with this. This is so ridiculous, okay? Like you can fast forward if you just are not in the mood for somebody being really, really silly, or, like complaining about something so stupid. But when you're like at the very end of this and you're squeezing it out, the noise that it makes is so loud as it's spitting the product out, it will wake my child down the hall, okay? I will be in the shower and this thing goes <laughs> squirting this product out and makes this like really loud like chirping noise that like has made my child wake up and start crying. So that is like the only reason I think I won't repurchase this, that and you know for the aforementioned reasons that like I think this is a great exfoliator. It's beautiful. I think it's like charcoal that's the exfoliation in it so it dissolves on the skin which is really nice but that's also in comparison to some of the other things that I have especially the micro crystal buffing bars. It's not really tenacious enough to really make a difference. I feel like it's nice on my legs. It feels really good and if you don't have NASA level desires, needs, wants for exfoliation, you know, for physical exfoliation, then this might be fantastic for you, but it's just not quite enough for me. Like it's a spa experience. It's really lovely, but it's not effective. It's not doing, it's not moving mountains and I need it to move mountains, you know, plus that loud squeezy chirping sound. It's just kind of the st world stupidest deal breaker, I know. Only one of these today, and that's because I have just been using other things so much. Again, I've been using the Road line, which is a lot less expensive. You can get all three of those products for two thirds of the price of this, less than two thirds of the price of this, and I don't know, it's just other things have kind of taken precedent, but this will be something that as I move into winter, you know, it's a mainstay. I, I literally have to have it. Like my skin cannot survive without it so far during the winter time, during being really, 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 really dry. So this is the SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore 242. It just, it's like every time I blink, they drive the price up. It's completely ridiculous. It's like $150 right now. I'm not going to sit there and tell you to buy this. It's just the only thing that I've ever found that when my skin is actually at its driest, it can like bring it back from the dead and it makes it like my skin is not chronically dry. That's how it feels. And I also suffer from the issue of like, I, somebody said that it's like a side effect, I think of TALTS, which is what I, my auto injector for psoriasis. It's a biologic that I take every month to make sure that I'm not a lizard in real life. Like my whole scalp would be like covered in psoriasis if I didn't. So the side effect someone told me of that is kind of chronic rhinitis. And so like my nose just runs absolutely constantly. In fact, like you can see it's actually like cut right here because it'll just the skin broke and then healed like that and it's because my nose is just absolutely running constantly and this in combination with slugging slugging has completely changed my life i haven't been doing it because of my peripheral dermatitis but i've been using actually I've, I've actually come back around to it like last night i did for the first time in, in weeks and i used the royal tulip nectar from bloom effects to do it and it's made all the difference in the world like goodbye petrolatum like i mean petrolatum's great and everything but like it's been that that real tulip nectar is off the freaking charts it's so good so anyway that has really saved me i, I realized today that i haven't had that issue in a long time so grateful to my wildly expensive but incredibly effective moisturizing products like this so I, I have two more backups of this right now. It's the only thing that I think I have. Well, on Amazon I have Auto Replenish, but that's like the, yeah, that's the only like skincare product I have on Auto Replenish. And do you see my nose still runs constantly? Absolutely constantly. Finished one of these. This is the Osea Undaria Algae Body Oil. And this is one of the most gorgeous products that has ever crossed my plate. It has this lovely natural kind of citrus smell to it. It's the most effective body oil that like gives me like sexy supple skin, but it's not like greasy. It soaks in, but it truly looks different. It's like cosmetically elegant. It's really nourishing long-term. Like I went into a blue mercury with Hindash and just dragged him over to this. I was like, you don't understand. <laughs> this is important. The beauty of this also is the fact that now at Credo at least, I know at Credo, but some other places too, they have a big boy. So this is the five ounce, but now they have a nine ounce and it's huge. And I bought that one at the last Credo sale. So yeah. 
I definitely recommend getting the big boy if you love this and I recommend this wholeheartedly it's just so good and it lasts so long and it's the best body oil I've ever used like never look back so yeah I already have, I have the big boy that I'm working on right now Ooh, here's one okay so this is the Fortuna skin by phase moisturizing oil it smells like licorice and Fortuna is a really beautiful company out of Sicily I've tried a lot of their products their toner oddly enough is like my their micellar toner is like one of my favorite products like favorite skincare products hands down and I also really loved this I used it all the way up because I like it but I'm going to continue using the Iconolab. Iconolab Renewal Face Oil is still my absolute favorite face oil and it is the most cosmetically elegant and it smells lovely. It makes me look younger. It's totally beautiful. I love this. I do, I do, I do, I do. And I wouldn't ever kick it out of bed. You know, if they sent me another one, I would use it all the way up kind of thing. But I would rather use the Iconolab. So they're about the same price. Actually, I think this is probably more expensive. And yeah, that's why I won't be repurchasing it, but it's super lovely, like super duper lovely. All right, and last but not least, and this is actually something that's a callback to a recent video. I have two Hourglass Unlocked mascaras here. This is Hourglass's tubing mascara, and I love it so much. It's just easier for me to get than the Thrive one. If I could go by Thrive in person, I would. They had a little brief stint at Ulta where they were selling the mascara there. I would do that because it comes in brown and this doesn't, but it's just been the thing like they sent me one. I think they sent me another one. And then recently I actually just stopped by Sephora and bought one because I was like, I love this mascara. I don't mind the black, it's a good black. You know, it's a nice glossy black and it's a really, really lovely formula that's very reliable and it lasts a long time. The reason, well, I shouldn't say the reason that there are two, but the story here is just that like, I thought that I was working on one and I was actually, I think maybe accidentally working on two. I can tell this one's a lot older just by the look of the package. Like it's a lot more beaten up, but regardless, I freaked out because I was like, I thought I was on like the last couple of days of being able to use one that was maybe like six weeks old or something. And then I realized like oh there's another one kicking around in my collection and I have no idea how old it is and so I put them both in my empties just out of pure safe measure and so that is what we're looking at here absolutely gorgeous packaging heavy 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 just like very luxurious and has you know the typical nylon one like it's so 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 similar even like down to the ingredients in the formula to the thrive it's just a little bit flutterier a little bit lighter weight and unfortunately it doesn't come in brown i don't know it'll be cool if they ever come out with brown but it's just become my mascara of choice lately so there's that, those are my those are my last ones. So yeah, a chill little empties video for y'all today, just kind of catching up on everything that I've finished. And can somebody in the comments tell me, because I, I mean, I'll just Google it probably, but like where am I taking my empties now? Cause I filled my TerraCycle box. Do I get another TerraCycle box? Or is there like a program now? Because I've had that TerraCycle box for literally years. So let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, cool people subscribe. You should probably subscribe, it'd be cool if you did. And I will put a video up here that I think you're going to enjoy if you liked this one. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.